Hi friends, welcome to Sunday School. We're taping our Owl Box series of lessons so that you all can grow in wisdom. Today, this lesson is for September 6th, and it's about wisdom. It's about Solomon asking for wisdom. Why would we need wisdom? Why would we need understanding or directions? I don't get it. Let me tell you about a game I learned about. I learned how to play this game called Mancala. I don't know if any of you have ever played it, but I do believe that Eli Wolf taught me how to play this game. And I think he was probably in first grade or second grade when he taught me. He knew the rules. Look, it's just a, looks like a little egg crate. And it's got all of these stones that go in it. Did you, have you ever played this game? Would you know how to play this game? It's really, it's really a fun game. But if you don't have the directions, well, it might just be some pretty stones and a wooden tray that looks like it should hold eggs. But there's a method to this game and you have to know how to do it. You have to follow the directions, right? Well, that's kind of like asking for wisdom. Lord, what are the directions? Hmm, do you have something to say about this? Otherwise, I might just make a big mess of things. I'm going to put this game down. In our owl box, we have a Bible, okay? We also have snacks. You're free to snack on things while we talk. In our Bible today, we're going to talk about wisdom. There's a New Testament verse that I love in the book of James. James is way at the back of our Bible. It's in the New Testament part of the Bible. James chapter 1, verse 5. It says this, If any of you need wisdom, ask God for it. He'll give it to you. He gives freely to everyone. He doesn't find fault. Well, that's pretty cool. If I need some wisdom, I should ask God for it. Hmm, pretty cool. He will give it to me, the Bible says. I love that. Then there's a verse in Psalm 119. It's verse 10. Oh, sorry, it's verse 105. I'm sorry, it wasn't verse 10 at all. Psalm 119, 105. Now the Psalms is kind of like in the middle of your Bible. Psalm 119, 105, and it says this, Your word is a lamp to my feet. It shows me the way. And, it light, and it's like a light that guides my path. Hmm. If God's word is a lamp and a light that can help us, maybe some of the directions are in here. What do you think? Maybe we should spend some time reading it and find out what God has to say about some things. God is the source of all of our wisdom, and he wants us to be wise. So, you know, we get to learn things at school. We get to gain knowledge and understanding of things. But true wisdom, oh, that's hard to come by, I think. And so we need to ask God to give us his wisdom, his understanding. There's a story in our Bible about a guy named Solomon. You know King David, David and Goliath and all of those stories. Well, David had a son named Solomon and he made Solomon the king after him. And here's what Solomon did. It's in 1 Kings, that's kind of towards the front of our Bible. 1 Kings, and we're gonna go to chapter three and we're gonna start at verse five. And I'm just gonna read to you a little bit about what happened. The Lord appeared to Solomon and he spoke to him in a dream during the night. And God said, ask me for anything you want and I will give it to you. Solomon answered, you have been very kind to my father David, your servant. That's because he was faithful to you and he did what was right and his heart was honest. And you've continued to be very kind to him because you have given him a son to sit on the throne this very day. Lord, my God, he says, this is Solomon talking, you have now made me king. You've put me in the place of my father David, but I'm only a little child. 
I don't know how to carry out my duties. I'm here among the people you've chosen. They're a great nation. There are more than anyone can count. So I need you to give me a heart of wisdom that understands. Then I can rule over your people and I can tell the difference between what's right and what's wrong. Who could possibly rule over this nation of yours, God? The Lord was very pleased with what Solomon had asked. So God said to him, you have not asked to live a long life. You have not asked to be wealthy. You have not even asked for me to get rid of all of your enemies. Instead, you've asked for wisdom and understanding. You want to do what is right and fair when you judge my people. Because that's what you've asked for, I will give it to you. I will give you a wise and understanding heart. So here is what will be true of you. There has never been anyone like you, and there never will be anyone like you. And that's not all, God said to Solomon. I will give you what you have not asked for. I will give you riches and honor. As long as you live, no other king will be as great as you are. Live the way I want you to. Obey my laws and my commands just as your father David did. Then I will let you live for a very long time. Solomon woke up. He realized that he'd be, been dreaming, so he returned to Jerusalem. And he stood in front of the Ark of the Covenant where the presence of God rested. And he sacrificed his offerings there. Solomon asked for wisdom. He needed it. The Bible says here, Solomon said, I don't know what to do, I'm just little. Well, you guys are little too. Well, not little, little, like you're not the babies or anything, but you're not old like me. So let's, let's start out our Out of the Box series of lessons with asking God for wisdom. Wisdom is to be able to understand something that that is difficult. Um, it's, it's being able to know the difference between right and wrong. Wisdom, discernment, and understanding are amazing things. You know, and the Bible has a lot to say about that. We have cell phones, and some of you have cell phones, some of you have tablets, and they have apps on them, right? And, and just about anything you want, there's an app for it, right? There's a music app, and there are game apps, and there are podcast apps, and there are shopping apps, and there's Pinterest apps where you can get on and look at the new toys and stuff. This, this is God's Bible, and it's got a verse for just about everything you need. We're gonna, we're gonna go to God in prayer and we're gonna ask him to give us his wisdom and his understanding. Will you pray with me this morning? Heavenly Father, we come into your presence and we just ask that you would give us wisdom and understanding and the ability to discern between right and wrong, the good and the bad, we ask that you would come, Holy Spirit, and just um, fill us with your presence and help us to grow in wisdom and knowledge and understanding. We need you. We need you, God. We can't grow up all by ourselves. So help us. In James, your word says, if any of us lacks wisdom, we can come to you and we can ask and then you will give it to us. So at the beginning of our Owl Box series, Lord, we ask, please give us your wisdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.